my name is Caitlin and welcome back to Cage Street Up. Today we are going to make a very quick, a very easy, simple and delicious Brussels sprout recipe. Now this is something that you can cook any night of the week for dinner, it's healthy for you and it is amazing. I already got started chopping up my Brussels sprouts but we're going to chop the last few here and you're just going to cut them in half like that. If you see anything that looks like something you don't want on your Brussels sprout, go ahead and chop it off if like the bottom's kind of nasty or the outside. Just take that right off and just wash them before you chop them and slice them right in half. Now's about the time where we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees because we're going to be roasting these and they're going to be so delicious. You guys are going to love them. So we have our Brussels sprouts in a nice big mixing bowl here because we're going to add a couple extra ingredients to give them some delicious flavors for when they roast in the oven. We're going to start by drizzling some olive oil over the top and then adding a little bit of sea salt. Now, because we have quite a bit of Brussels sprouts in our bowl, we're gonna give this kind of a toss and then repeat. So that was kind of ugly, my finger got caught there, but just give it a toss, a little bit more olive oil, a tiny bit more salt. I don't add a lot of salt to anything, guys. Not really my favorite thing. And just a nice toss, perfect. After that, we're adding two more ingredients to this delicious bowl of Brussels sprouts. Right here, we have a couple cloves of garlic sliced very thin. We're going to just sprinkle that in, and we're eventually going to toss again. So just get that in there. I don't want to waste any. Perfect. And then this is some finely chopped shallots. Now, if you don't have shallots, you don't have to add this. You can substitute for some onions or something like that, but the shallots just really kind of make this recipe pop. It's a different flavor than just a typical onion, and it's really delicious. Now, we're going to add a little bit of a thicker balsamic glaze. Not a balsamic vinegar that's super thin. This is more of a balsamic glaze. It's a tiny bit thicker, and I'm just going to drizzle like this, toss, and repeat. So we're just tossing up here. Perfect. We're giving it a nice toss, all of our garlic and shallots and balsamic mixing together. And then another nice round of balsamic. I have to be honest, a piece of garlic just fell on my foot and it is so cold. <laughs> it's really funny to me. I had to share that. Sorry, guys. Now we're going to add the balsamic at a couple different steps in the oven as well. So you don't want to completely soak them. We just want that balsamic flavor on our Brussels sprouts. So the glaze comes out a little slower. That's why I like it. We're not soaking them in that balsamic vinegar. Um, so we're just going to toss them a little bit. That's perfect. And now it's time to lay them out on our pan. Now I laid out some parchment paper over just a regular old sheet pan because I don't want my balsamic and stuff to like cook into my pan and ruin my pan and burn. So we just laid out the parchment paper here and we're going to lay out our Brussels sprouts in a single layer on our pan. Now don't worry about getting that right off the bat when you're coming out of the bowl because we're going to just spread it out. So the important thing is that when you actually cook in your 400 degree oven, I want all this yumminess on my Brussels sprouts, so make sure you give your bowl a nice scrape. All of that, perfect. Now when you cook your Brussels sprouts, you want them to be in a single layer because they actually take a decent amount of time to roast. So you're just gonna spread them out like that. Then we're gonna go back and make sure all of our Brussels sprouts have a little bit of that shallot and that garlic touching it because we want those flavors to cook in. So a nice thin layer like this. Now, any, if your garlic and your shallots kind of all move to the bottom or they're not evenly spread, just take a spoon and kind of lightly drizzle them back over your Brussels sprouts. It's no big deal. You're going to be serving these in a bowl. You're mixing this entire combination back together. So before we go into our 400 degree oven for about a half hour, we're going to give one more nice slow drizzle of our balsamic glaze. After our Brussels sprouts are laid out evenly, we're putting them in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. We're going to toss them and make sure all sides cook evenly and none of them burn. And after that 30 minutes, you have this delicious dish, these Brussels sprouts. They look so amazing. You guys are going to love them. Subscribe to Keep Straight Up for more fun recipes every Tuesday. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below this video or tweet at me at Keep Straight Up. And other than that, guys, enjoy these delicious Brussels sprouts, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.